Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that is your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe anytime during this video. And today I want to talk about taking care of your skin before you go out into the sun. And I also want to talk about how you de-stress your skin after being in the sun. And I'm going to talk about a couple of different sunscreen recommendations from today's sponsor, Skin 1004. They are a Korean skincare brand that offers a variety of really elegant sunscreens that really focus on harnessing the power of centella. So if you're so ready to find out how to take care of your skin pre and post sun exposure, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. All right, let's start off with some tips on how to prepare your skin for sun exposure. Now this first one's gonna be really basic, I know, and that is to start off with a clean face. Do I even need to say it? Why am I even bringing this up? It seems pretty obvious. I know, yeah, you should wash your face before you put your sunscreen on, but I'm just gonna say, embarrassing story, um, I do sometimes put sunscreen onto my unwashed face super early in the morning when my dog just has to go outside. She just, she's not, there's no waiting, you know what I mean? nature calls and we got to get out there and at least i wore my sunscreen right well, at least i did that but i have to say when i do that i will end up with a pimple the next day so just like a good a good tip to prep your skin is to start off with a clean face so here you see me using the skin 1004 madagascar centella ampule foam so my next tip for your morning skincare routine is antioxidants yes this is a classic but this is a really important one to use especially if you are serious about sun protection and you want to help your sunscreen go the extra mile for your skin because because antioxidants help to protect your skin from damage. They help to protect from environmental damage like pollution and free radicals, but they also help to protect your skin from UV rays. Now, I always say this, they're not a replacement for sunscreen. They're not that powerful, but think about them as like your sunscreen's BFF. Antioxidants just make your sunscreen work harder and better for your skin, giving you a little bit better protection from UV damage. So here I'm using the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampule. It's a really minimal and hydrating formula that features 100% of Centella. Now we love Centella for its soothing benefits, for its healing benefits, but it's also a strong antioxidant. And that's what makes it a really great like sunscreen BFF. Centella does have that antioxidant benefit to protect your skin from UV damage. And one of the like extra benefits of a Centella being so soothing and so anti inflammatory for the skin is it really does help to protect from the inflammation that your skin gets from the sun. Did you know a lot of the damage that occurs on your skin from sun exposure is due to inflammation in the skin? So we're getting like a one-two punch with Centella. We're getting the soothing, calming, anti-inflammation protection benefit along with the antioxidant benefit. Pair that with your sunscreen and you have done a really good job prepping your skin for the sun. Another tip is to make sure you build moisture into your skincare routine before going out in the sun. Because have you ever been outside for a long time, like on a super hot day or an intense sunny day, and afterwards your skin felt kind of dry and kind of tight? That's because the sun actually can really zap essential moisture from your skin. No matter if you're oily skinned or dry skinned, the sun can actually dry you out a little bit. So it makes sense to build in a little bit of moisture wherever you can um, to kind of help combat some of those drying effects of really intense sunny days. So here I'm using the Skin 1004 Centella Soothing Cream. It has a really light gel texture that's really perfect for oily skin types or perfect for super super hot and humid days. And it features really great barrier supportive ingredients like ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. Now I will be honest with you, this is actually not quite right for my skin type, but I so admire this product because it brings all those wonderful barrier supportive ingredients in a really unique gel texture. Like I said, perfect for oily skin types. I think it's super duper unique. I don't see a lot of creams offering barrier supportive ingredients in breathable layers. But however you want to build moisture into your routine, I think it's important to have an eye on that because like I said, the sun can make your skin feel a little bit dry. So now that we've prepped our skin for sun exposure, there's one last super important step. 
and that's sunscreen, right? <laughs> We've done all this work to help our sunscreen work better for our skin. So I think it makes sense to take a pause and talk about some of the sunscreens offered by Skin 1004. So let's talk about the Hyaluseca Water Fit Sun Serum. This is SPF 50 PA plus four, and it has been verified to SPF 50.5 PFA 16.5. So this is a chemical sunscreen. It uses four new generation chemical filters. And you know, the word on new generation filters is that they're just a little bit more effective for the skin. They're a little bit more protective and photo stable. And if you've ever had issues with older generation filters like avobenzone or like really anything that you'll find like in American chemical sunscreens, if you've ever had issues with those filters, irritating your skin or maybe like uh, making your eyes really, really watery and irritated. Th those are side effects of older generation filters. The newer generation filters have been developed to avoid those side effects. So there's a very good possibility that you won't have those issues with newer generation filters. And that's what you're gonna find in this fully chemical sunscreen. Other things with the ingredients here, we don't have any essential oils or even any artificial fragrance. We do have an ingredient called tea butyl alcohol. And I did talk about this when I did my Korean sunscreen, this or that, when I compared this sunscreen to two super popular sunscreens from Beauty of Joseon and Isn Tree. This ingredient is considered denatured alcohol, right? And I, I usually talk about sunscreens that don't contain alcohol, but this is kind of like that weird ingredient that just somehow works for my skin. There's always so much nuance in skincare. It's never black or white. It's all about testing things and seeing if it works out for you because your skin likes what it likes and there's not always a lot of rules. So anyways, this is an ingredient that I found in other sunscreens that just doesn't really seem to inflame or dry out my skin, which is great because this does actually help with the formula. It does help it feel a little bit lighter. It helps it to absorb into the skin a little bit better. But I do want to point out it is denatured alcohol and it may not be the right fit for you, but I'm just saying... I don't have a problem with this one. What really stands out to me about the Hyaluseca sunscreen is the texture because it's just so elegant. I mean, it spreads really easily onto the skin and you don't have to spend a lot of time rubbing it into your skin to get it to absorb down, which I think is really important because this sunscreen really does absorb and dry very quickly on the skin. And you know, I'm always talking about creating the protective film with your sunscreen. And that's why dry time and letting your sunscreen settle into your skin for like like 10 minutes is very important. That's what is actually protecting your skin from the sun. You can go for the verified sunscreens, the, the highest protection sunscreens, but if you're not allowing that sunscreen to form the film on your skin, you're probably not getting the best protection that that sunscreen has to offer for you. And that's why this formula really impresses me because when something absorbs down fast, when it dries fast on your skin, that's a really good indication that that, that sunscreen film has formed quickly on your skin and you can just go ahead with the rest of your activities if you're going to put makeup on top of your sunscreen or whatever it just gives you that little bit more reassurance that that sunscreen is doing what it's supposed to do and i'm going to say the tea butyl alcohol is probably contributing to that really nice quick dry time but like i was saying the texture really impresses me because beyond just absorbing into the skin beautifully and drying down fast there is no white cast with this it is a chemical sunscreen but it's always a possibility, right? So there's no white cast with this one. It feels so good on the skin. It doesn't look greasy. It actually, like it has no shininess to it at all, which I think is a huge win, especially if you do have oily skin. This lightweight texture and this lack of shine on the skin is gonna be chef's kiss for you, right? This is awesome for oily skin. So there's no finish and there's no like heaviness or greasiness on the skin. Like this is something that feels good to reapply. I don't feel like, oh no, I have to put another layer on it. It's just going to overwhelm my skin. It's a joy to reapply. It doesn't pill on the skin and it actually works really nicely underneath makeup. The only drawback to this, and I find this with a lot of Korean sunscreens, this is not just Skin 1004, it's just that it's not water resistant, which may not be the best choice if you're gonna be in like a real sweaty situation. But if you are looking for a sunscreen that's got your back for everyday casual sun exposure, you know, going to work, commuting, running um, errands, things like that, or you're not in like a super sweaty situation, this is a sunscreen that has your back 
excellent for oily skin. I think it's good for a lot of different skin types and no white cast, elegant texture and breathability. This is actually my favorite sunscreen that is offered from Skin 1004. Next up, let's talk about the Skin 1004 Air Fit Sun Cream Light. This is SPF 30 PA plus four. This has been verified to SPF 31.9 and PFA 16.1. Now this is a mineral sunscreen and it only uses zinc oxide. And zinc is actually a really good mineral filter that has coverage for UVA one and UVA two. Now I know that a lot of people will swear by SPF 50 all day, every day, year round. And SPF 50 is really a great sunscreen, but SPF 30 has its place too. And I personally will reach for SPF 30 like in the late fall and in the winter seasons and even into the early spring because where I live, the sun is like non-existent during those seasons. It can be um, very gray and quite cloudy and the sun is just not as intense as it is in the summertime. The daily UV like rating is very low, but you know, even on those cloudy days, the UV is still present and it makes sense to still protect your skin. That's why we say sunscreen all year round, right? But in certain situations, SPF 30 is appropriate. And you know, I'm always saying, pick your sunscreen based on your activity and in your environment. And so in the winter time, SPF 30 is perfect. And that's really where I'm going to recommend a product like this comes into your sunscreen wardrobe is for very low UV exposure, but still protecting your skin. Just like the Hyaluseca sunscreen, this is not rated for water resistance. And I don't find it to be like um, a type of sunscreen screen that you want to sweat with, right? And we kind of already covered with SPF 30, we're talking about um, lower UV days, maybe lower, maybe lower temperatures. This is not your sweating sunscreen. This is not going to be your swimming sunscreen, right? Um, so no sweat resistance here, but we do not have any essential oils or any artificial fragrances. And again, like the Hyaluseca sunscreen um, from Skin 104, we do have T-butyl alcohol. So this is a zinc only oxide. So you should expect to see a white cap if you are blessed with melanin. I am a little bit and you will see a little bit of a white cast on my skin. It's not too bad, but the good news here is that elegant formula is still at play. We still have that wonderful spread onto the skin. Even for being a mineral sunscreen, I don't find myself really working it hard into like rubbing my skin raw. You know, have you ever done that where you're just like, I, I'm just trying to get this into my skin. I think it's got a really nice spread um, and absorbency onto the skin. Again, a great dry time. And I don't find Find this to pill on my skin. I find the reapplication to be um, pretty, pretty enjoyable. As you reapply, if you had a white cast to begin with, you might get a little bit more white cast, but Again, this is just one of the drawbacks of mineral filters. So I do find this to be elegant. I find this enjoyable to use. And like I said, SPF 30 does have a place in a sunscreen wardrobe for a lot of us. You don't always have to go for SPF 50. And this is something that I would reach for on low UV days. Next up is the Skin 1004 Tone Brightening Tone Up Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 plus PA plus four. And this has been verified to SPF 62 2.3 PFA 19. Now this is considered a hybrid sunscreen because it uses a couple of different new generation chemical filters and it combines it with titanium dioxide. That's the other mineral filter out there. And this is a tone up sunscreen. In K Beauty, the word tone up actually refers to toning up your complexion, helping with unevenness, correcting redness, or even the dark marks that you get left over from pimples pimples, tone up products kind of help to promise to sort of tone that up to kind of help mask that a little bit. And the way that they usually work is they rely on the white cast that comes with titanium dioxide with that mineral filter. You know how mineral sunscreens usually have a white cast? Well, titanium dioxide inherently has that white cast to it. So it's often used in makeup products or even tone up products like this one to kind of give a little bit of that like kind of helping to masquerade some redness or toning up some unevenness in the complexion. And then they pair that alongside of like light reflecting particles to kind of give you that like luminous sort of glowy look. That's what tone up means in K-Beauty. You see it in makeup products, you'll see it in sunscreen products, and that's really what it's providing for the skin. But 
it's not going to fit everybody's skin, right? It's inherently going to have a white cast to it. So as you can see, this just doesn't work on my skin tone. The white cast is a lot more obvious than it is on the Air Fit sunscreen, where there I was like, it's not too bad on here. To me, I'm uncomfortable with this. It's just, it's not my jam. It's not for my skin tone. So unfortunately, this isn't super inclusive, right? And that's just because the tone up effect is only gonna work for certain skin tones. And if you have that certain skin tone, I think that this could be a really nice product for you because it does give a little bit of that like luminous effect to your skin. And it can even, if you plan to put some makeup on top of this, it can really enhance your base makeup, which might correct the white cast, right? But like for me, it's just not something that I'm gonna reach for because unfortunately, it's just not the right match for my skin. It just, yeah, it's just not a good fit. And it is kind of unfortunate because this has a lot of the same qualities as um, the other Skin 1004 sunscreens have, like the great new generation chemical filters. This actually has really good sunscreen protection. This is verified to 62 um, for the SPF, and it actually has the highest PFA rating of the three sunscreens. So this is actually the most protective sunscreen of the three that we're talking about. So if that's important to you, that's something to know, right? I mean, that this, those are great ratings for this sunscreen but that tone up effect <laughs> it's only going to be for a select for a select group of people i am not in that group unfortunately um i think it has something nice to offer but yeah, it's just not for me. So let's talk about some tips to de-stress your skin after sun exposure, because that's really how I relate to um, being out in the sun is I feel like it's great, but it kind of stresses my skin out a little bit. And I tried to build in some pampering after my sun exposure to really help my skin bounce back. And one of my favorite ways to do that is with lots and lots of calming, soothing hydration. This product from Skin 104 is great for that. This is their scent Tella Quick Calming Pad, and OMG, these are so hydrating. These are toner soaked pads that you can use a variety of ways, but my favorite way when I really wanna de-stress my skin is just to put these pads directly onto my face to let that juicy, juicy hydration sink deep into my skin. Now these use centella and panthenol. The centella brings a soothing effect, right? It calms the skin, it reduces inflammation. Remember how I was saying how the sun can actually increase inflammation in the skin? It's super important that we pull that back in our de-stressing routine to help minimize the damage. So we've got centella doing the hardworking, soothing job, but then we've got panthenol, which is really hydrating and replenishing for your skin. Remember how I said the sun dries out your skin panthenol can kind of revive that but it's also very barrier supportive too so really two great ingredients working really great together when you hold that cotton pad to your skin it really helps that solution dive deeper into your skin than if you were to just like wipe it across your skin quickly or if you were to use this solution like a toner and just pat it onto your skin when you leave that cotton on your skin it's like a sheet mask effect it just helps it dive deeper and it feels so refreshing I just like pop these right onto my cheeks, um, onto my forehead and my chin, and then I just like let it sit in for like three to five minutes. And once I take it off, my skin feels revived. It feels refreshed. It feels cooled down and soothed. These are awesome. So part of the recovery process with sun exposure is really calming down inflammation. Like I said, even if your skin's not feeling irritated or sensitive or looking red and inflamed there is a good you know possibility that under the surface there is some increased inflammation activity happening inside of your skin if you spent a long day in the sun even if you wore your sunscreen there's a good chance that that inflammation is at a higher level than it was before you were in the sun so it makes sense to pack your your post sun exposure routine with lots of calming anti-inflammation ingredients and i mean centella is is one of the best ways to do that. You know how soothing Sika is for the skin. Skin 104 does Centella best, honestly. Like I said, their brand is all based on the power of Centella. So here comes the Centella Ampule again because this serum is just so good. It's really calming for the skin. I love the texture of this too because I think it's gonna work for all skin types. It's watery, it's quickly absorbed, it's not sticky or tacky on the skin. So no matter if you have oily skin or dry skin, I do think that this, this serum is going to work in whatever skincare routine you put it into. And with long-term use with this, it just really makes your skin feel 
calmer and stronger, more soothed and hydrated. When you've been out in the sun a lot, you may notice that your skin just looks lifeless and dull. You may even notice like some unevenness coming up in your complexion. Maybe some hyperpigmentation looks a little bit darker, like something's just not right and you need to revive your skin and brighten it up. And that's where the next product comes in. It's the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. Now this is something that I would recommend slotting into your post sun exposure routine occasionally. Not every single night or anything, but just kind of building this in occasionally throughout um, the times that you're having sun exposure and noticing dull skin. Because this uh, contains a chemical exfoliant called PHA, which is kind of like, think about it like a new generation AHA. It works in a similar fashion to shed the dead skin cells at the top surface of your skin, re like revealing newer and rejuvenated skin. So it can really just kind of help brighten up and, and liven up your skin again if it's looking very dull but it's also helpful if you have like uh, congestion or clogged pores because it can kind of help with that that look of texture it can help with enlarged pores and it can also help with hyperpigmentation it can brighten up your skin but the nice thing about pha in a post sun exposure routine and the reason i recommend it over aha is that pha while having those same benefits is actually gentler on the skin than aha and unlike aha it does not increase your skin's photosensitivity meaning you know this when you use chemical exfoliants it actually makes your skin more vulnerable to the sun, more vulnerable to damage, to burning, to hyperpigmentation and like just irritation, right? PHA gives you all the benefits of an AHA, gives you all the benefits of chemical exfoliation without increasing that sensitivity or that likelihood of damage. So those are my tips for building an effective pre and post sun exposure routine, along with some sunscreen reviews from Skin 1004. Now, everything we talked about is gonna be in the description box. So if you wanna pick up any of these products or maybe just put them in a wish list for later, everything is there for easy browsing. I wanna thank Skin 1004 or again for sponsoring today's video. And I'm curious, do you have any tips for preparing your skin or de-stressing your skin after sun exposure? Let us know in the comment box below. If you love the video, it was helpful. Please consider hitting subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one, full length and short. So maybe consider turning on notifications too so you're never out of the loop and always getting your skincare fix. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I love you so much.